Hey, this is Bill from Ozone Fitness Training Center in Fairfield. I wanted to talk to you today about some single leg functional progressions that we do here. Um, really, really important including your program. Um, once you've got a good mastery of some just good basic uh, two-legged squatting exercises, goblet squats and, and the like, just a good solid foundation of squatting on two legs where you're stable. Instead of loading it up further, you could go with single leg progressions. Benefits of doing that, you can work your legs a little bit harder because your legs will fail first, not your back, and you also unload your spine. So you can always throw these at the end of your leg workout. So um, assuming you have a good foundation of clamshells and, and hip activation exercises, the first one we go through is one we call a quarter squat front raise. So you're going to get some good uh, work done on that glute medius. We just set up a couple plates, or you can just use a platform. And we just work on, in kind of a functional pattern, understanding how to sit back on the hips on one leg, give yourself a little bit of a demand out here, and you come up. Just a really good starting point, very low level. Gives you an idea just how to stabilize that hip and really get your core involved. Remember, guys, that whenever you do a single leg exercise, you have to focus on using your core more than a double leg because you have all these other forces to resist. Another good step to go from there, the glute step up. So a really good, easy way to understand how to, to shift your hips into the right position for tension. So we'll take a box here, get our leg about 90 degrees, and we can learn how to just kick our hips back and load our glute and not so much of our quad. So just execution-wise, we keep a little bit of a lean forward in that torso. We just learn how to really push through the heel and get that good angle there. So again, just pushing through the heel and understanding how to tap into the backside. From there, we can go on to a reverse lunge. So when we get to reverse lunge, it's a little harder because we have to decelerate our body on the way down. So there's that demand. We just like to teach it here using a bench. So we have that good knee position. People, when they do lunges, are all over the place with their knee where it's supposed to be. So you can just set up a bench about two to three inches away. Do your reverse lunge. And you can notice now my knee's in a really good position when I lunge back. So again, I lunge back. I establish that good knee position and I come up. From there, we can progress it. And take the center of gravity up a little higher. We can go into a Bulgarian split squat. Center of gravity is higher, less stability. So my back foot is on a bench. And from here, I should be able to lift that back foot any time. And I just understand how to really push through that one leg more. So I'm here, and you can see it's a harder exercise. There's less contact points, okay? So we get into something a little bit more advanced, and then we can kind of progress to our final progression, the skater squat. So this one is really more of a true single leg movement. We take a couple of weights to counterbalance because there's a lot of stability requirement here. We put a pad down, and we can kind of progress it and just kind of shoot ourselves down, balance it out and come up, and we get to something that's really, really difficult for one leg. And we didn't really add that much weight, we just added less stability. So that's what we go through here at Ozone, it's the way we like to teach it. Keep it easy on the back, keep it hard on the legs. If you have any other questions, visit ozonefitnesstrainingcenter.com or stop by. Thanks.